All the light in the world won't make a blind person see. It takes the miracle of grace. Jesus is saying, you're seeing. The problem is not that you don't see, it's that you don't want. You want to be the Lord of your own life. You want to run things. You want to do it your way. You want to be the engine and you want me to be the caboose, says Jesus. And he says, listen, I'm either driving this train or I'm not on that train. Period. In love. Verse 37, and the Father who sent me has himself borne witness about me. God the Father's told you that I am he. His voice you have never heard though. His form you have never seen. And you do not have his word abiding in you for you do not believe the one whom he has sent. Friends, I can't imagine any more confrontational and direct a challenge than right here. And again, I want to stop and I want to ask you, do you know this Jesus? Will you champion this Jesus? His voice you have never heard, his form you have never seen, and you do not have his word abiding in you. The church has stopped confronting sin, and that's the problem. When the church is run by compromise and complacency, It goes from what might have been, at one point, a real church to a counterfeit church. And listen, we can come from a very diverse background. It's his love and his grace. It's his Holy Spirit that unites us, not our denominations, not our affiliations. It's his truth and his love per his word. Verse 39. You search the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life and it is they that bear witness about me. Yet you refuse to come to me so that you may have life. Friends, Jesus is saying here, don't tell me about your expertise. I want to see the exercise of your life. We saw this with Nicodemus when he came. You can have all the facts and not yet be in the faith. You can know all the particulars and totally miss the point. You cannot minimize what Jesus is saying here. There are many people who want to become experts in the scripture, who know chapter and verse, who can walk through the Bible but never walk with Jesus. Don't miss this. Jesus is saying, you think that salvation comes from the scriptures of the Savior rather than the Savior of the scriptures. And I will tell you, friends, in our little Mayberry here, I have run aground on many a broken and I fear lost souls who have expertise in the scriptures. And that's exactly what Jesus is saying here, confrontationally and lovingly. You think that by studying and knowing more in your head that you'll be saved by the scriptures of the Savior. And you miss it. No, you're saved by the Savior of the Scriptures. It's me, Jesus. It's a relationship with me, the Messiah. Not your ministry or your meaningful study. It's me, Jesus, the Messiah. 